It's fun time in Kansas. Adult does, pregnant for seven months, now shoo away their grown daughters to concentrate on new babies. Older does often have two or three fawns, but first-time mothers typically have just one. At birth, the fawn weighs about five pounds. Most are born in early June, but a few are dropped in early May. In a world of lush new growth, it might seem the mother deer would carefully choose a birthing place to shield the fawn from danger. But that's not necessarily so. In fact, she may simply drop the fawn wherever she is at full term. And sometimes this is in surprising places, even close to human dwellings. This tiny newborn was dropped in a mowed prairie between busy houses. The fawn was born at daybreak, and after a quick cleanup, the doe wandered away to leave it for eight hours. New fawns have no scent, relying on camouflage spots and natural instinct to lie perfectly still and avoid detection. The doe leaves her new baby, sometimes traveling hundreds of yards away so that her own scent doesn't attract attention to the helpless fawn. So it's on its own much of its first day of life. This one, a buck, as evidenced by the black spots on its forehead which mark the future antler pedicles, was born in short grass. It rested easily through the cool morning hours. But as the day heated up, the fawn got hot and thirsty under direct sunlight. It panted through open mouth as it lay, finally needing to move. And it took its first awkward steps on its own, uncertain on its feet as it headed for nearby shade. For a short time, it disappeared into the heavy cover. But soon, wanting again to test its legs, it moved back into the open grass. And it lay there for another hour before returning to the cool thicket. The mother came back in late afternoon to feed her youngster and move it to better cover. At first, she seemed puzzled that the fawn was not where she left it, but she found it in the nearby shrubs. It joined her for the first of many reunions, getting a meal on its feet as its mama licked and cleaned her offspring. It followed her as she made a hundred-yard trek to a pasture fence that marked the Kansas wilds. There, the pair rested and bonded in cedar shade for a short time. And then the mother led her baby into its new life as a beautiful wild deer that shares our prairie state. I'm Mike Blair in the Kansas Outdoors.